You're tuning into Black and White Sports on YouTube. The no holds barred truth on sports. The main event starts now. I'm back. Rodrance for Black and White Sports. And oh, of all the entities that are hanging on to the woke cliff about to fall into the abyss because they're all having a panty waist fit over the fact that everybody has decided to move on from the Kung Flu. Enter one of the Modelo virus's leading cheerleaders of fear, one Peter King. That's right. Oh, yes, and his weekly appearance on PFT. Well, in this case, and I've got I've to be honest, Peter King is a big baseball fan. He is. He's a known baseball fan. And, of course, we're finding out states after state after state is starting to go back to a normal life. Of course, the Corona bro- Bros and Jamel Hill are having a walled-eyed fit. And they've got to go straight doomsday on us. Anytime there is something that there's a little glimmer of flash of normal behavior out of citizens. In this case, the Atlanta Braves decided, hey, we're going to play ball. We're going to open the stadium. And we're going to fill the some bitch full. Well, Peter King had to throw a little fit. Very quickly, make sure you check out blackandwhitenetwork.com. Exclusive content, joint videos from myself and John Matrix. Exclusive live streams. Silver memberships get extra videos as well as a chance to be on a member panel. We had a stream yesterday. It was a blast. Let's get to this from our guys over at OutKick. Bobby Burak, let's do it. Peter King is triggered by a Braves game. Imagine that. Imagine that. Of all the spineless triggered accounts online, the top rack is crowded with angry sports personalities and people like AOC. Peter King, while just one of many, has managed to stay seated on the rack next to Ellie Duncan, Pablo Toro, oh, God, and Andrew Wojnarowski. For the first time in 19 months, the Atlanta Braves played at home Friday to 100% capacity. An awesome moment that brought the state of Georgia one step closer to being normal. The end goal in the fight against the Modelo 19 virus. Giving, given the widespread enjoyment of the game, it must have been. It must be that one blue check mark. One disgusted piece of the sports media cow dung would look to spin the story negatively. And yeah, I'm taking liberties with this article. (laughs) Insert Peter King, woke Peter King, who interrupted his Saturday afternoon to drop this tweet. Will Boyt uh, tweeted out, Rest in peace to the Mount Rushmore of the Modelo Bros, Corona Bros, the Kung Flu Bros, at Peter King, at Dan Walken. Is that Woken or Walken? At by Pat Forty. Oh, good grief. And at, let's just say it, Jamel Hill. He tweets back, Peter King, 570,615 deaths. Nothing to see there. Yeah, let's go straight to fear. They used that a lot over the last nine or ten months, did they not? When it comes from everything from sports to politics, they used the fear of the kung flu. How dare sports fans celebrate? King's tweet is sad, but so are the death totals of all causes. King's response also has nothing to do with the photo tweeted. Zero. The guy tweeted out a picture of the stadium being full for crying out loud. That is a pleasant moment, Peter King. King is applying the worst of a situation, a total that is roughly 14 months and counting. That time is not May 7, 2021, a date by which a total of 257 million Modelo virus vaccines and the doses have been administered. King's logic is flawed. That total is never going down. 
It appears that Peter King, like Dr. Fauci, is having a hard time letting go to the Kung Flu. Okay, well, does that surprise us? Peter King dealing in more fear. Okay, that's the M.O. of the woke sports media. Let's keep everybody living in fear. Look, Peter King's little homeboy, Mike Florio, you know, I mean, he's on his show once a week on Fridays. I, I think it's Fridays. He comes on there, and as long as they stick to football, it's a pretty good show. But when they start, start going woke and or have to get in to peddling every scenario known to man surrounding the Modelo virus and why, my God, they can't even have an effing training camp in the NFL or why players ought to be able to set out, blah, 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 blah. It has been a shit show when it comes to Peter King, Mike Florio, and the rest of these guys, and the coronavirus. And here we are, a guy is tweeting out a picture of a full stadium. That's a great moment in sports. We've needed that. We need to see more full stadiums. Of course, Joe Biden was angry earlier in the year because the Texas Rangers said, F you, we're in Texas the Rangers will play to a full opening stadium right off the bat. And finally, a state like Georgia is joining the crew, okay? Things have been pretty much normal here in Texas and here in, and, and here in Texas and in Florida for quite some time. So here we are, Atlanta's joining, and Peter King has got to be triggered. He's got to be triggered. He's got to try to... Uh, piss rain on everybody's parade well look do we really give a damn what peter king thinks i don't think we do i don't think he's gonna scare us into staying home now is he uh he certainly has it here in texas so peter king stay stay cooped up in the house stay on your zoom call with mike florio uh stay up there i think you're in new york uh say hi to your governor Cuomo for us, okay? And uh, we'll go on with living our lives like actual true Americans do. Peace, we're out. Hit subscribe. Till next time. Thanks for watching the show. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Be sure to tune in next time on Black and White Sports.